How's it going everybody? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number two in my programming Leap Motion with Python series. Last video we went over downloading the Leap Motion uh, software development kit and installing all the drivers, basically all the setup stuff. This video we're actually going to get into some coding. Now if you didn't see the last video go watch it and you should somewhere on your computer have a folder like I have here with this, this is where we're going to do all our programming in, this leapmotionapp.py file. That's where we're going to do our programming. And then you should also have all the software development kit stuff. All that. Alright. Now, let's actually do some coding. I've got this open in Sublime. It's the uh, text editor I'm going to be using. And let's just get started, dive right into the coding. Now, I am assuming you do know some Python for uh, this tutorial series. I'll try not to go so too slow, but I'm not going to go too fast because I don't want to lose anybody. And let's get started. So import. We're first going to import all the uh, different libraries we need. Uh, one thing I'll also mention, uh, if you did watch the Leap Motion with Java series I did, you'll notice that a lot of the similarities in this tutorial series is just using the Python syntax. So the, all the libraries we're going to import uh, the leap library system thread and then our time library. Next thing we're going to do is from leap we're going to import all the different gesture types. So circle gesture the key tap gesture screen tap gesture and then finally the swipe gesture oops alright now we have everything imported almost okay now we got everything imported properly and like we did it in the uh, Java series, I am going to start by making a class which is going to act as our listener, which we pass into our controller. This listener um, has different methods that uh, interact with the Leap controller, telling it which gestures to recognize, you know, what to do when connected, what to do when disconnected and then what to do with the data gathered from each frame. So let's start by creating our class. class, And we're going to call it leap motion listener. And as the parameter, we're passing in leap dot leap. Or sorry, not. We're going to pass in leap dot listener. and colon. Now first thing we gotta do we have to put in some string arrays. We're not gonna be using them in this tutorial but they are gonna come in later. So first is finger names and first is your thumb. Next is index. Next is middle. Ring and then finally the pinky. Next one is the bone names list. This will be important for the finger tutorial that we're going to do later. And for this we're going to pass in metacarpal. And then next is the proximal bone. Oops. Another tutorial I'm working on. Don't know why the window changed. Um, next, intermediate. And finally is the distal bone. And final list we have to make is the state names list 
which include, I'm going to spell them the exact same way they were spelled in the Java series. So state underscore invalid state underscore start state underscore update and then finally state underscore end so we got all the lists we're going to need for this series now let's start programming some of the class methods for our listener first one is on connect so this is the or sorry I skipped one first one is on init this is what happens when our listener is initialized so self and then we're going to pass in the controller object which we're going to create later and all we're going to do for this method is print out that our listener has been initialized now the next one is on connect this one we're going to do a couple things we're going to pass in self and controller once again and inside the method first same thing we're going to print out a message for the user and this one is just going to be uh, motion sensor connected and now we have to enable the gestures for our controller to detect without these following lines the motion sensor would not be able to detect that kind of gesture so these are very important so first is controller and enable underscore gesture and then we're going to pass in leap dot gesture dot type underscore circle might seem a little weird here but we have to end these lines with a semicolon for adding these gestures just remember that it's almost like Java now I'm going to do the same thing for all our other gestures so the next one is key underscore tap next is type underscore screen underscore tap and then finally the swipe gesture which is type underscore swipe all in capital letters for all of those all over the semicolon at the end so that's the end of that method the next one is the on disconnect method and all this one is going to do is I think I spelled that wrong disconnect yeah I forgot an S okay just didn't look right so on disconnect and inside is the parameters we're going to pass in self and then controller once again and for this method all we're going to do is just print out a message saying motion sensor disconnected okay and two methods left this one will be the on exit which is what happens when we end our program so on exit we're going to pass in self comma controller and this one's just going to print out a message exited exited I think that's a word final method we're going to do is the on frame method we're actually not going to program anything for this one today this is where the bulk of our tutorial uh, coding is going to take place though uh, same as the other ones we're going to pass in self and then controller so just to explain this method the leap motion um, sends about I think it's like 290 frames of data to the computer per second. So that 290 times per second, this method gets called, and in here we uh, have access to the data of that frame. So basically every frame, this method gets called, and we tell our program what we want to do with the data. Since we're not doing anything for this for uh, with 
the on frame method for this tutorial. Just put in pass for now. And I'm just going to check my notes, but I'm pretty sure that is the end of our listener class. Um, and it is. Okay. So next, we are going to do our main method. So define main. And what main is going to do? We're going to create a new listener. We're going to call it listener. And we're going to set it equal to call our elite motion listener. Open close bracket. Next, we're going to create our controller object. This is going to represent the elite motion controller attached to our computer. So controller equals leap dot controller with a capital C. And open close bracket once again. Now what we have to do, we're going to take this controller object and we are going to add our listener to it. So add the listener and for that we're going to pass in listener. Okay, that is good. Now we're going to print out a message for our user saying press enter to quit. So anytime the user hits enter, our program will exit. Now to actually uh, read the information the leap motion is sent to the computer, we're going to do a try except finally statement. So for the try part, we're just going to tell the uh, program to try uh, sys dot stdin dot read line open close bracket and for the accept part we're going to accept keyboard interrupt and all it's going to do in that case is pass and for the finally Uh, we're going to remove the listener from our controller. So controller dot remove underscore listener. And once again, we're going to pass in the listener method. Final thing we have to do for our program to run when we uh, launch the Python file is if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore then what we're gonna do is call the main method so this is how our uh, app is gonna launch so let's start this now I already am opened up in PowerShell and let's launch this so Python leap motion app dot py. Oops, what did I do wrong? Oops, I spelled main wrong. So there we go. Initialize, press enter to quit. And it exited, it exited out. Let's run this program again. So let's launch it. So I'm going to plug in my leap motion now. Motion sensor connected. I'm going to disconnect my motion sensor. Motion sensor disconnected. So everything is working how we want to. That is all I have for you guys in this tutorial. Next tutorial, we're going to start programming our on frame method. I have all, all the stuff we can do with it. I have broken down into several tutorials. And this is pretty much what we're going to be working on for the rest of this tutorial series. Well, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a comment on the video, like the video, and subscribe. If you speak Spanish and are interested in making tutorials with me, please get a hold of me. I'm starting a Spanish version of Coding Basics just to help more people out. whole purpose of this channel, I'm a university student and sometimes didn't like the uh, professor's programming lectures. So this is just kind of a way to help university students or high school students or anyone interested in programming learn different languages. So that's all, and I'll see you next time.